Hello everyone, welcome back to Sunday Kids. I hope you guys are very excited for the Word of God today. I hope you're sitting down with your parents enjoying breakfast. So everyone, please grab your Bible, prepare your heart. I want you to sit nicely and please enjoy the Word of God today.
Hello kids, I hope you guys are ready for worshiping God today. Please prepare your heart, sit still, and let's sing the song, God You Are So Good. Let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for such an amazing day. To now, we're going to listen for your word. Please bless the word and help us to sit still. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Stories of the Bible. Jesus Calls Matthew. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Jesus was in Capernaum, and he was walking along when he saw a tax collector named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Tax collectors were hated by everyone because many people thought they were cheaters and sinners. Oh, no one lies to you. Let's get out of here. But Jesus saw this man and said, follow me and be my disciple. Me? Yeah, you. So Matthew got up left everything and followed him. Later, Matthew held a banquet in his home hey, Jesus. with Jesus as the guest of honor. Uh, you're here. Oh, thank you. Many of Matthew's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. Ugh, yuck. Hey, you! But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Ah, uh, hold on there. When Jesus heard this, he told them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. Then he added, Now go on and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. 
So Matthew went on to be one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed him throughout his time on earth. He even wrote a book in the Bible about Jesus' time on earth, and he served God for the rest of his life. Hello, kids. It's me, Angel. It's so nice to see all of you again. I've missed you guys. So, did you guys enjoy today's Bible story? I know I certainly did. We've learned so much today. We've learned about how God called Matthew to become one of his apostles. Well, um, so Matthew was someone who was lost in his way, someone who did not live by God's words. But God saw Matthew's potential. He said, hey, he's not a bad guy even though he's a tax collector. So I'm gonna make, bring him and make him one of my disciples. So, during this process, um, during the process of Jesus recruiting Matthew, Jesus said something very important to the Pharisees. Do you kids remember what Jesus said? Maybe this will jog your memory. Ow! Ah, oh, my face! Ow! Oh God! Ow! Oh, my face! Oh my God, why I fell down? Mm. Uh, uh, this oh my god! Uh, uh. Do you need some help? I'm uh, a doctor! Oh, a doctor? Uh, ow! Uh, god, you're stinks. bleeding everywhere! Oh my god, it stings! Uh, Let me help you. Let me take your temperature first. Uh, Okay, doesn't seem that you have like you have a fever. Uh, Let's put on some bandages. Stop the bleeding. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Okay. And now just one last band-aid to seal it all off. Uh, there you go. How are you feeling? A little bit better, actually. Thank you. That's good. Okay, now that that might jog your memory, here's what Jesus said. Jesus said that it's sick people who need a doctor, not well people. God says it's better to show mercy to someone than to pretend to do what's right. Jesus is like a doctor here. He came to help those who are sick with sin. And he will show that they can be forgiven by God and their souls will be saved again. So, if you see someone who's down and about, a bit isolated, someone who is sick, don't forget to help them out. Pat them in the back, give them a nice smile, and say to them that everything is gonna be just fine. And maybe you can invite them to bask in God's glory too. All right, so this is the Bible verse for you to memorize today. It says, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another too, in John 13, 34. Don't forget to memorize it. Well, now that you've learned about God's words, let's all join our hands together and pray. Lord, thank you so much for the abundant love and blessings that you've poured into our lives. Now, I know that when I'm feeling lost and down, I can always turn to you to find out my purpose in life. Help me practice to reach out to those in need and help them console them and help me console them. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. And thank you so much for the love and the joy that you've bring into my life. Thank you so much, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. See you next time, kids. Hope you had fun.